is up you guys it's Jalen long time no see um I hope you guys are all doing well hope you're thriving hope you're wearing your face masks and all that good stuff during this rough time but anyway um it's been a few weeks so I'm excited to see you guys again and I'm excited I am excited I am excited to make another YouTube video haven't been in the mood recently um been doing some stuff up here. Today I am going to be answering a question that I get uh, from a lot of different people who either know me personally and have met all of my wonderful animals or people online such as you guys. Basically that question is that I am going to be showing you which one of my pets is the easiest not okay maybe not the easiest but like my low maintenance animals which one of my pets are I consider the lowest maintenance and the easiest um, but I'm a little biased because there's one animal in particular that I'm extremely fond of. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys all of my low maintenance pets and everybody that I think is the easiest to care for. And I'll explain, obviously, why they're the easiest to care for and whatever and all that good stuff. So, I'm going to go ahead and take out the animals which I think are the easiest and yeah oh what i was gonna say was is i'm gonna be starting on number three so i can progressively get to the these well number three i guess it's number one two three four i'm gonna be showing you six different animals but two of each if that makes sense um so i guess i'll start on number six numero seis slash numero tres okay i'll be back so the first little guys that I would like to start off with, hello, good morning. I know, I'm sorry to awaken you. Good morning, Negan. Oh, I gotta scoop you, oh, I gotta scoop you. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Number three of my species of animal on the list are my crested geckos. Um, I think these guys are super, super easy and great pets, they are I have dirt all over my finger. They're very, very easy to care for. They eat a diet of something called Pangea, and it's like this um, dry fruit mix. You literally just mix it with water and give it to them every night um, in a little bowl, and they eat that once a day, and it's, yeah, that's basically everything that they need. Um, you can throw crickets in their cage every now and then. Like, I would say once every couple of weeks, we throw in a few crickets in their cage, and they love that for some extra protein and it's also good to help them hunt. Um, anyway, this is Negan. Another reason why I would consider these guys to be super, super easy pets and great pets at that is they're extremely docile, as you can see. Um, they're just like really little tiny angels. Um, I love them so much. The only thing about them is they can drop their tail really easily if they get stressed out. We adopted him and he didn't have a tail when we got him, but um, our other guy still has a tail. I'm gonna show you Leo in a bit. We got him from a breeder, um, so we got him new. He was a baby when we got him. But yeah, that's the only thing you really gotta worry about with these guys is them dropping their tail. But I mean, even if they do drop their tail, like they're fine. He's Gucci, he just kinda looks more like a frog now. But other than that, I rate these guys a solid 10 out of 10. Great pets. Um, five star rating. I love them so much. Look how cute. You're so cute. Yes. Lick the eyeball. Stick! Oh, that was not- Oh, sorry. Alright, so this is Leo. My little baby. I love Leo so much. I love you. You're so cute. As you can see, he has his tail. He's thriving. But anyway, I grabbed their food to show you guys. Um, they eat load. Load? Focus. So they eat this. Um, I don't know if this is the brand Pangea. It's Zoomed. I don't think it's Pan Pangea. But anyway, um, you can give them this or uh, there's this brand called Pangea, which is also literally the same thing. It's just a powdered diet for them and you mix it with water and it's just like a baby food consistency and then they just lick it and eat it. I also recommend them as pets because they are absolutely adorable. Adorable little angels and they jump which is really really cute. <laughs> so cute! Right, let me see if I can get him to jump to this little 
this little tree. Go to the plant. Go to the plant. Go. There you go. He loves plant. Only thing that I would rank them with a little bit more, not difficulty, but I guess a little bit more difficulty with, um, they don't need a heat lamp, which is good, easy, they don't need heat pads. The only thing that you have to make sure is that you keep their cage nice and clean so bacteria and whatever doesn't build up in their cage, because they do, they, they poop often, so that's the only thing about them that you have to worry about, really, um, I would say. That's the biggest thing, is make sure their cage is clean. That's like the hardest thing about them, I guess. They're super low maintenance though, in my opinion. They're really great pets. I recommend them. They're great starter pets. Um, super easy diet, very docile, adorable. Um, don't require heat lamps slash heat pads. Um, yeah, they're great. They're great pets. I love them so much. And also he's just chilling. Look at him. You are just so handsome, aren't you? That would be a great picture. Oh my god, I have to get a picture of that. Next on my easiest pet list, this is a personal bias because this is my favorite animal in the whole world, but number two on my list of the easiest animals that I own is my snake. I love snakes so much. Snakes are my babies. I... Snakes are literally my favorite animal in the whole world. Um, I love them so much for some reason. Um, I think partially because they are so low maintenance and docile, um, at least the snakes that I own are extremely docile. If I wanted to sound edgy, I could say that I like snakes so much because they're very misunderstood and I relate to them. <laughs> I got bit twice by my old snake. Um, I used to have a ball python when I was little and she bit me twice, but it was because she was, she thought I was feeding her. So she mistook my hand for food and I was also a small child and didn't exactly know what I was doing. So one thing that I would like to say about this particular species in general, ball pythons can be kind of finicky when it comes to food. Um, like Mac recently, I was feeding him small rats once a week and one day he just decided I don't want to eat rats anymore. So he stopped. Um, don't know why. Tried multiple times. Tried feeding him frozen. He doesn't eat frozen. Won't do it. Um, I've tried feeding him small rats multiple times and he won't do it. So I had to go from feeding him small rats to feeding him two mice a week instead. Um, but yeah, these guys are so easy. I love snakes so much. So the one thing about them is you have to make sure that they have the appropriate size enclosure, of course, and that can be a little pricey. Um, especially if you have a bigger snake like this, the bigger the enclosure, the more pricey it is. But I would say one of the easiest things about them is how often they eat because they do only eat like once a week. Um, they can go without eating for longer periods of time, but obviously they'll be hungry. Snakes can survive months without food. Um, don't do that, but they can survive months without food. And they also live super long and they're just very low maintenance. Obviously you have to make sure the humidity is right in their enclosure so they can shed whenever the time is appropriate. The main thing about them, one, the enclosure, you have to make sure that it doesn't get dirty, but also they don't poop very often because they don't eat very often. So you only have to clean their cage, I would say like once a month, um, at least that's how often I clean it for him. And once a month, once every couple months, and you have to worry about their heating, which is important. Once you have everything set up in their cage properly, the only thing you have to worry about really is cleaning their cage. Same thing with the crested geckos. But I would clean crested geckos cages more often than I clean my snake's cage because he does not poop as often. Also, ball pythons are not super active. So he's, he loves, I say he loves attention and people are always like, how do you know if a snake likes attention? But you can tell when they're stressed out versus relaxed. Like right now, he's ex extremely relaxed because he's used to being taken out because I take him out all the time. But yeah, snakes are fantastic pets. I, if you have a phobia of snakes, please just educate yourself a little more and give them a chance um, because I promise not all snakes are bad and even the ones who are bad, the venomous ones, um, they're more afraid of you than you are of them. So unless you're gonna like intentionally antagonize them, they're not gonna do anything to like harm you. Um, they're great, fantastic pets. I love them so much. 
I've had this baby, sorry. <laughs> he is now five, six years old and he's doing great. I, these guys are super, super easy. Snakes make fantastic pets. Just keep, hold them often enough so they become docile. Um, if you get them young, then you can tame them from an early on age, but also don't not buy an adult snake who needs a home just because he's not a baby. Um, obviously, they can be friendly too if they were given up by somebody or whatever. But yeah, I'm gonna also show you my Kenyan sand boa. Um, because he is a little bit easier than my ball python. Number one, he's smaller. Number two, he eats frozen. Um, this guy will not eat frozen. Like I said, ball pythons are finicky about their food, but my Kenyan Sambo eats one pinky once a week. I can just store them in the freezer. So if your snake eats frozen food too, that makes it a hundred times easier because you can store their food in the freezer and just take it out and thaw it out whenever they need to eat. But yeah, I love snakes so much. They're great pets. I love them. Okay, I'm gonna take a thumbnail. The moment you have been waiting for, the number one animal that I own, that is the easiest possible animal that you could care for. Some people are gonna hate me for this, but my tarantula. My tarantulas are the easiest animal that I own. If you want a low maintenance pet, I highly recommend getting a tarantula. They are super low maintenance. They make great pets. As you can see, mine is very docile. There are certain tarantulas that are more docile than others, this is a rose-haired tarantula. She is so docile. She's an angel. Sorry, I accidentally breathed on her. If you're good with tarantulas, obviously they make great pets, but if you're scared of them and you are going to drop them or scream at them, if you see one, please don't get a tarantula because I want to protect them at all costs. I do not want you to swat them or hurt them. They're angels and they deserve love just as much as we do. I love my tarantulas so much. They are super, super easy. Their cages don't have to be huge because the bigger the cage, the less easy it is for them to find their food. Obviously you want their cage to be a decent size. They don't poop a lot and they are very clean animals. One thing about them that you have to make sure, depending on the species of tarantula, you have to do your research obviously, but their humidity inside their enclosure is important because of their molting. So you wanna make sure that the temperature and humidity is right for them. So they are capable of molting easily. That's the main thing about these guys. Honestly, they don't require heat lamps. They don't require heat pads. You clean their cage once every few months because they don't get dirty. We throw in like, like six crickets once a week, like five to six crickets once a week and she's good. But yeah, we've had Chaka for five years now, five, six years. I think they're great pets. When I was little, I used to put my tarantulas on my Bratz dolls and I would have tea parties with my tarantulas and my dolls. Um, I was not a normal child, <laughs> obviously. If your child is not afraid of spiders and if you would like to, them to grow up and not being afraid of spiders i definitely recommend getting one of the species of tarantula that is more docile um they make fantastic pets i will show you i'm gonna put her back into her enclosure so you guys can see here you got some web on you She lives in this very cheap, affordable Tupperware container with holes punched on the side that have like little mesh covering over it so the crickets can't get out. Um, but yeah, very easy animal. We'll show you guys my other tarantula, but he, he will, sometimes he's in a good mood, sometimes he's not in a good mood, sometimes he doesn't care about being taken out, sometimes he cares. So I will show you guys his enclosure when I, I'm gonna put Chaka back. But my Brazilian, my black Brazilian tarantula, Brazilian black tarantula, he lives in here in this little enclosure. Um, these guys, the difference between them is these guys like to burrow more than the rose hairs do. So I made his soil a little bit thicker than hers. Um, I actually don't know if this is a male or female yet. He's still very young. I'm gonna show him to you guys. 
it's very easy it doesn't take up a lot of space don't gotta clean their cage often feed them once a week give them some crickets um they also like mealworms depending on the tarantula some tarantulas do some don't they have their own personalities just like we do so he's hiding um i don't want to like hey hi baby can i take you out or are you pissed are you grumpy today don't think he's grumpy today um i don't i usually tap them with a paintbrush but i do not have a paintbrush in here at the moment Alrighty. This tarantula will get bigger. Um, he's still a juvenile at the moment. He's actually gotten pretty big recently. Um, that would be my chameleon's automatic mister. We'll wait. Now that the mister is done, um, so this is my Brazilian black tarantula. These guys are also known for being very docile. Um, he can, so people are always like, do they bite? Um, no, they can bite, just like I can bite, just like your dog can bite, but they're not gonna bite you. Their main defense mechanism is to kick hairs. So they'll take one of their back legs and just like rub it against their abdomen and shoot like little tiny hairs out and it makes you itchy. Yep. I think people are mainly spooked by them because they have lots of legs but they can't help it just because they got a lot of legs but yeah this guy's gonna get a lot bigger and i'm very excited for that obviously i'll update you guys on his growth and how he's doing he just molted um like a few weeks ago so yeah like i said the main thing with these guys is you have to make sure their humidity is right so they can molt properly um i definitely recommend brazilian black tarantulas as starter tarantulas because they are extremely docile and they molt easily. Some tarantulas have a higher tendency to die during molting than others. Um, rose hairs and Brazilian black tarantulas are pretty good tarantulas for beginner people. Tarantulas are definitely, non-mistakably, number one on my easiest pets that I own list. Um, just make sure they're water is full make sure you feed them crickets once a week make sure you clean their cage every few months make sure the humidity is good yep <laughs> that's what i got to say about them um if you want to keep them friendly handle them every once in a while just so they stay friendly um i would like just like tap their leg or something just like be like hello and ask them politely if you can take them out because if they don't want to be taken out they'll let you know they'll either like run up to you like that or they'll like kick hairs at you so this guy i have only been kicked hairs by chaka my big tarantula twice and i've had him for her for five six years and i've been kicked hairs a few times by this guy but he's tiny so it's not very intimidating um, those are my pets I hope you guys like this. Those are my easiest pets that I own. Um, I recommend snakes, tarantulas, and crested geckos to all of you. They are great animals. Um, obviously, do your research, educate yourself before you get any of these animals. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, if any, if I didn't answer anything, leave a comment below, um, and I'll try and respond to you. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a like if you did and follow me on it. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram and all of my other social medias. I will put those down below in the description. Um, subscribe if you're not already, if you're new to my channel. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.